As time winds down on the regular season, Quinnipiac was desperate for a win. The Bobcats once again found themselves in familiar territory. Uh, a position that we're comfortable in, you know, playing close games down to the last possession. I think our guys played with confidence. The game was all about the matchup of Cam Young and Rich Williams, who combined to score 56 points. I think uh, I let him get some easy looks. Uh, he had a, bunch, a couple threes on me. Um, for the most part, I feel like as a team, we all kind of took turns guarding him. He got going, but uh, we kind of limited everybody else, which just helped us like, you know, win the game. The back and forth game kept everyone on the edge of their seats, as no team was able to pull away at the end. With under a minute to play and Quinnipiac up by two, all the Bobcats needed was one last stop. But Rich Williams silenced this home crowd for Quinnipiac by hitting a three to give Manhattan the one-point lead. But Quinnipiac and Cam Young came right back as Young drove down the hoop, finding a wide-open Isaiah Washington for the go-ahead basket. When I came down, like, you know, I'm just trying to be aggressive, so of course I was looking to score first and then... I didn't have nothing, so I turned and I seen Zay Cutting, which we, uh, which we always work on, so it was, a, it was an easy, easy look. After one more stop, the Bobcats are now tied for fifth place in the MAC with Manhattan. And the players say they don't pay attention to that, but Dunleavy says otherwise. Our guys, our guys obviously know the standings. You know what I mean? Like, our guys know the standings. We don't, we don't hide it from them. They, they know the standings. We all know it, but just kind of make a point to. Um, to not play for that, you know. And to the 71 to 70 win, the Bobcats now improve to 7 and 8 in MAC play. Their next game comes at Fairfield. Chris Dacey, Q30 Sports.